Hi Virgo, this is Nayla Latrice. I am here to do a bonus new moon read for you. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button for me. Yes, you guys are seeing me in a new light. I am very comfortable in my pajamas. It is a new moon. I am in my meditation space. I have already set my own personal intentions. So yeah, I wanted to give back and do a read for my Virgos. I can't remember if I just said it or not, but if you are new, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and hit the subscribe and like button for me. And we are going to go ahead and jump right on in. Spirit, what new moon messages do you have for the beautiful, beautiful Virgo? Stop being so hard on yourself. Stop being so hard on yourself. You're exactly where you're supposed to be, okay? Spare, what messages do you have for the beautiful, sensitive, sweet, caring, loving Virgo? Look at the bigger picture. Yeah, stop being so hard on yourself. Stop being so detailed. Stop being Virgo. <laughs> I know that's hard. I just saw 111, so that lets me know there are definitely new beginnings that are here for you. But um, stop being so analytical. Stop being so detailed with whatever it is you are thinking about. And look at the bigger picture. It's almost like you can't see the forest for the trees. Stop looking at all the trees and see that you're in the forest. There's something that you're thinking about very heavily, yes. Be bold and make the first move. So there's something around you or something that is going to be coming towards you where you need to just go ahead and just go after it, okay? Um, don't question whatever this is go directly after it. You're going to know in your heart and your soul that it is the right decision and the right opportunity for you. And Spirit is saying to go ahead, be bold, make the first move. Whether this is work, whether this is a relationship, uh, whatever the case may be, you need to be the one that is courageous and step out on faith and make the first move. And then we have your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. We are in Capricorn. Capricorn season, new moon. Your hard work is paying off. Everything that you have been doing, everything that you have done up to this point, I feel like you have, that's what it is. That's why you need to look at the bigger picture because you are so focused on the details. You are not able to see all the hard work that you were doing and you feel that you're not seeing all of your hard work or your manifestations appear, but that's because you're looking at the small details instead of looking at the bigger picture and how far you have come. Give yourself credit. Give yourself a pat on the back for all the strides that you have made. I feel like you have overcome a lot within these past um, few months to few years and spirit is saying look at the bigger picture stop looking at all the work and the details that you have been doing the mundane tasks the mundane the mundane day to day because you're so wrapped in it you feel you're not getting any work done but if you will put the work down for just a second take a step back and look you will say whoa i've done this much i've changed this much i've accomplished this much and that is what you need to do so you are able to stop being so hard on yourself and i feel when you do this it will give you a big boost of confidence and then it will also give you the courage that you need to go after whatever this is that is coming towards you or that is here for you right now and then at the bottom of the deck we have a time to give rather than take new moon in virgo so a lot of new moon energy here and we are in this new moon but i feel it is time to give to you guessed it yourself you have been giving to so many other people and other people has been taking. It is time for you to give to yourself rather than take from yourself. By you not giving yourself the credit that you deserve, you are taking away from yourself instead of building yourself up. And Spirit is saying that you need to give to yourself rather than take from yourself. Because it begins with you. It begins with you knowing that you are worth it, knowing that you are um, that you are worthy, knowing that you deserve 
everything that you desire, Virgo. You are very, very sweet. You are very, very loving. You are very, very gentle. And I feel Spirit is saying, take some time out for yourself and give back to yourself for once. All right, Spirit, what messages do we have for Virgo for this new moon? This is good. I think this is the best one I've done. Of course, because it's for Virgo. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> so first, we have the Magician. Virgo, you guys are manifesting like fucking crazy and i just got done telling sag i'm trying not to cuss but it's part of who i am so whatever to me it makes the reads even better because it's the emphasis anywho whatever you're manifesting it is overflowing it is abundant do you see how her garden is overflowing do you see her she is confident she knows as above so below she knows this confidently she's not questioning questioning it she's not questioning the process she's not saying why is it taking so long anything like that she knows whatever she asks for she receives so whatever it is that you are desiring within the spiritual world it is here within the physical world so continue to be confident you have all the tools necessary to manifest whatever it is that you desire gather all your tools you are the alchemist as above so below we have new love here for you. I feel like, of course, this is self-love. And as you continue to manifest the self-love within yourself, you are bringing this love towards you. Virgos, there's love all around you. And I feel it's because you are love. And it's time. This is also a time to give rather than take. It's a time for other people to give to Virgos. Woo! it's time for other people to give to virgos rather than take from virgos this is going to be a season this is going to be a year this season is going to last a very long time where people are now going to all of a sudden be attracted to you and all they want to do is just give 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 to virgo they want to serve virgo all out the blue out of nowhere it's like this person wants to do this or this person say hey i got that for you but you have to learn how to receive it and not say no it's okay i can do it no let people serve you let people give to you because you deserve it and as you continue to do this for yourself you're opening up that um that portal for it to be returned right back to you there is new love that is here manifesting for you i'm just hearing it is all around almost like it is just swirling it is swirling all around i feel this is romantic love this is work love all anything that is love love of self love of your work love of your children love of your family but this is definitely romantic love there's also a new opportunity that you're going to love that you are manifesting in towards you and i feel like this is something that you don't even realize i feel like it's almost a bonus for you um that spirit is bringing to you but yeah someone has a new cup of love that they want to offer to you virgo this is very beautiful and magnetic energy oh my gosh okay so this was at the bottom of the deck we had the seven of wands at the bottom and it is coming out already i feel like there's something that you do need to protect yourself from um especially because we have this seven of swords here so this is a few things one i feel like um this is you defending yourself this is you standing up for yourself i feel because you are light and because you are who you are you're finally saying no it's time for me to receive i'm not accepting all of your offers anymore or people all of you trying to take from me all of these wands are people that have been trying to take 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 from you and you're finally saying ah, 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 ah. why because you're learning to give to yourself and you're saying I'm fed up with everyone taking from me. Either you're going to give to me and if you're not going to give to me, back up. Or I'm going to take this stick and use it in ways that you are not going to like. 
And I do feel there are some people around you that have been trying to be sneaky, manipulative, and just trying to get away with what they can. But again, you're saying no more of this energy. Um, I do feel like, again, Virgos, we are people who like to serve and people want to take advantage of that. And you're cutting this energy out because there has been people around you that were just around you trying to use you and not give back to you. But now, since you are taking the initiative and you are making the first move, being bold and making that first move of loving on yourself, giving yourself that love and giving to yourself, that's the move you need to take. You're learning how to receive only from other people because it is now your time to receive. Because you're done with everyone taking from you. You're done with them taking your sword, all of your swords. They done snuck one, two, three, four, five swords and only left you with two. And you're like, no, nah, I'm tired of people taking everything from me and leaving me with barely nothing. You're saying, uh-uh, I'm done with that. So you're cutting this energy out, okay? It's like no more of that energy. One more spirit for my Virgos. One more for my beautiful, sweet Virgos. Whoa. Yeah, you have been in hermit mode. I feel like because so many have been trying to take from you, you guys have just been in hermit mode. You guys have been saying, you know what? I'm done with the world. I'm done with people. What's that new song that's out? Earth is ghetto. I'm done with it. Let me just go into my hiding space. But spirit is saying, don't do that. The world needs to see who you really are. Don't go hiding just because of other people. You deserve to shine still. You deserve to receive. Um, and uh, you you deserve to receive from other people. So the only way you can receive is if you put yourself out there. So do not go into hiding. It's time for you to be courageous. Come up out of this hermit mode. I feel like you have been in hermit mode long enough. You've come up with all the ideas you need to come up with. And it's time for you to step out there on faith. Even if you feel like you don't have everything you need right now, Spirit is saying you do have everything you need. So again, you have to uh, take this step out on faith so you can begin to receive. I'm, I'm feeling like you're a scared little kid almost. And it's like you just need to put one foot in front of the other and trust that as you take each step, you're going to receive with, with each step that you um, that you take. Yeah, things are balancing out in your life after a lot of pain, after a lot of heartache after possibly a third party situation as well but spirit is saying things are finally balancing out for you okay let's get one more i know i said one more the last time but i feel like there's one more message here that spirit wants you to get I just got to keep going till they feel right in my hand. All right. I'm going to put that one back. Um, this one came out earlier. That's the only reason I am going to take this one as well. And then we have the Ace of Swords. So I do feel like you are resting and you are getting a lot of clarity. I feel especially about the people that are in your life and the people that you need to cut out. I feel like you need to um, cut some people out of your life. And I feel you're receiving the clarity about this. Yeah, y'all, I'm getting a little old and I can't keep my uh, <laughs> my legs crossed for so long before it starts uh, kind of feeling like it's going numb. But anyways, I feel like you guys are having uh, uh, some enlightenment that is coming, that is uh, happening for you guys. You guys are receiving some downloads, excuse me, from Spirit. You see all this? The downloads are coming down from spirit and they're coming towards you and you're thinking, you're meditating, you're resting. And if you're not receiving these, spirit is saying you need to take time to rest. You need to take time for self-care. You need to meditate and you will receive these messages. You will receive these downloads of these people that you need to cut out and of what you need to do to help you move forward. I feel like some of you guys could be stuck or feeling stuck, and Spirit is telling you to download, uh, to, to meditate, because there are some downloads that uh, you need to receive uh, from your guides, okay? 
I also feel like there's uh, some new information that is going to be coming towards you that is going to help you to move forward as well. Not necessarily about cutting people off, but just some general information that will be coming towards you that will kind of give you this um, this boost of energy like, oh, why didn't I think of that before? That type of energy. And because I feel like there's something that you're confused about. And even with this eight of swords that we had here that I put back, I feel like that just goes into that energy as well. Um, I just saw 1444. So I feel like you have new beginnings and you're building a stable foundation for yourself. You're gaining stability and this new information coming in is going to help you gain clarity and it's going to help you become unstuck about being in your head because look at all these swords. Towards Virgo, you are in your head, but spirit is saying you cannot see the forest for the trees. Get out of your head. Stop being so Virgo. Take a step back, meditate, and you will be able to see that it's a forest and not just the individual trees, okay? All right, Virgo, I am going to leave your read there. Thank you so much, and uh, until next time, bye, Virgo.